Mahalo, Davey. And speaking of weather, many of us, when we're looking up at the sky, we like to look up at the moon. And on Sunday, the moon is giving us a special show, a total lunar eclipse. And here to tell us all about it is um, NASA expert, Dr. Michelle Taller. Good morning, Michelle. Thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning. Great to be here. So the moon, of course, we are saying it has a special treat for sky watchers this weekend. What makes Sunday night's moon so special? Absolutely. This is one of the, the best shows that I, I, I love to look up at the sky when there is a total lunar eclipse. And that's what's going to be happening. And uh, for, uh, for people in uh, Hawaii, you will be able to see this pretty much right when the moon rises. So relatively early in the night. Uh, I'm on the east coast of the United States. So for us, the, uh, the, the eclipse will actually be uh, starting pretty much all night long. Uh, um, but uh, I would say probably a, a little bit like 6 or 7 p.m. As soon as you can see the moon, you will notice that the moon is either in shadow or it may even look a little bit red colored and and, and that's that happens the red is actually the same thing that happens during a sunrise or a sunset the moon is actually going to be in the earth's shadow the, the, the sunlight will be blocked out because of that and so the only light hitting the moon is light that's actually filtering through our atmosphere through the earth's atmosphere and uh, same thing that that actually turns the light redder because our atmosphere scatters away blue light so as the moon rises on uh, on sunday you may see a, a red color or a darker moon and uh, this will continue for a couple of hours as you know, as you mentioned for us here in Hawaii, this is going to be happening a little earlier in the night. Will that red color still be very much visible or will it be a little more muted for us? Well, so the uh, yeah, the, the the red color will only be during the the very peak of the eclipse, when we, the, the the real totality. But I mean, even after that, you'll see this partial eclipse, which is the uh, the curved shadow of the sun moving across the moon. And I think that's quite spectacular too. And it's one of these things that you don't need any special instruments. You don't need to be anywhere other than just be able to see the moon. You don't need telescopes or special glasses. Just get out there and enjoy this wonderful natural show. Now I know it's been a while since we sent people to the moon with the Apollo program, but we're getting ready to go back with Artemis. Is Can you talk to us about what everyone's doing to get ready for that? Yeah, you're going to see a lot of changes uh, in the next couple of years. So, I mean, for one thing, we've had uh, uh, this mission called the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which for the last 13 years has been orbiting the moon and actually giving us wonderful maps of every little pebble and nook and cranny uh, down to a resolution of about 10 centimeters. That's pretty amazing. So we know the whole surface of the moon from that mission. Uh, we found that the best site to put people is probably at the south pole of the moon. And so we'll be sending missions, including the, uh, the Viper mission. The Viper mission is a rover that will be launching late next year to look for resources on the moon that astronauts could use, possibly like ice below the surface. And then we have a collaboration with a number of different uh, uh, private aerospace companies and uh, and space industry partners and uh, there are about 40 different instruments that will be launched to the moon as part of this commercial lunar industry uh, in collaboration with nasa so a lot going on in the years to come and of course i need to ask you i mean we just released new photos of a black hole that some of the telescopes here in hawaii on top mauna kea helped to put these images together. Can you talk to us about how amazing this is um, for I guess, the world and you know how we move maybe forward in learning more about our solar system? This is something incredibly profound, right? So this is now the second supermassive black hole that's been imaged by something called the Event Horizon Telescope. And um, the Event Horizon Telescope is actually made of eight different observatories all around the world, including the submillimeter array up on Mauna Kea. And all of these eight telescopes simultaneously looked at this huge black hole right in the center of our Milky Way galaxy. And working together, they were actually able to see what we call the event horizon, the area where it's dark because the black hole's gravity is so intense, it's actually sucking the light back in. It's amazing to think that you can actually image that. Uh, now, now, this black hole, we're actually traveling around it right now at about half a million miles an hour. You are orbiting this black hole right now. The good news is it's 27,000 light years away. And one light year is about 6 trillion miles. So it's a, it's a long way away. And, and this has uh, clues about how our galaxy evolved, about how star formation happened over the course of the history of the universe. There are so many mysteries locked up in that big black hole. Well, thank you for maybe settling some concerns <laughs> from some people in terms of how, how far saying, the black hole is. Right <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Tala. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Well, there's a full interview on our website, kitv.com.